to another episode of the Alpha Life here. We are continuing with the Min Matter part of the series. And this time around, we are gonna take a look at the Rifter, the beautiful, gorgeous, the most amazing Rifter. I think it's the most popular ship in Eve, and how can it not be when its silhouette is in the fitting screen? So, yeah, we're gonna start off by saying what are we gonna use this Rifter for? So, the main part we're gonna use the Rifter is to run abyssals. I love running abyssals with the Rifter. And yeah, I must confess I did not come up with this fit. Again, I stole the fit from someone else. It was from Captain Benzi's channel. Uh, if you can, guys, please go give him some love. Go show him uh, some love. And yeah, I think this fit is really amazing. I've been testing it for a little bit. And it's really, really great. We even got a skybreaker room and it wasn't a problem at all. So, now let's move on to the fitting. And remember guys, don't forget to go show Captain Bensi a little bit of love and thanks for this amazing fit that he came up with. Now, we are gonna start up the fit in the high slots. Three 200mm auto cannons, two with hail ammunition. Why? Just because it does the most amount of damage and we really appreciate that damage you will see in the Skybreaker room that we really do appreciate that damage quite a lot. Next up, we are gonna go for one 1MN YC, YS8 compact afterburner. Why the compact? Because our CPU is really really tight. So yeah. Next up, we're gonna go for the X5 Enduring Stasis Webifier so that it helps us maintain that cap stability and so that it helps us slow the rats down a little bit. Next up we're gonna use a small compact PV acid cap battery. Why? Because min meter ships, as we said before, they have a little bit smaller capacitors, so we want to help in that aspect a little bit. Next up we're gonna go for a counterbalanced compact gyro stabilizer and for a gyro stabilizer too. Again, we have to go for the Tech 1 and the Tech 2 because of the CPU constraints. As you can see, this fit is very, very tight. So, work on those uh, engineering skills so that you are able to fit it. Next up, we move on to Small Armor Repair Tech 2. I believe that you can actually complete them with a Tech 1, but I wanted to be sure and use the exact same fit, so we will be using the Tech 2. In the video, if you see that we do not struggle with any spawn, you can maybe downgrade to a Tech 1, but there is no really budget problems because it's around 6.7 million, so it's not actually that expensive. Next up, we're gonna move on to a Damage Control Tech 2. Why further resistances, especially because we are armor tanked, it really gives us a big boost. 15% in all resistances in armor is really, really great. And we're gonna be running gamma, so those extra resistances in the shield are gonna help us tank for a little bit longer with the shields before we actually get to the armor. Next up, one auxiliary nanopump. One. Why? So that our armor repair actually tanks a little bit better and so that it repairs more per cycle. Next up, a small explosive armor reinforcer one. Why? Because without it, let's simulate the ship. Without it, we would get a lot lower explosive resistance. And the problem, since we're going to be running gammas, is that we get a penalty, well, everyone gets a penalty to explosive damage. That's why we are using hail, but we want to fix up that whole just a little bit. Next up we're gonna have a small power grid subroutine of maximizer one. Why? Because without it the CPU doesn't give us enough. It's just barely enough but it is necessary. You know what? I wanna try something to... I wanna try putting a compact web and see, well, you could run it with a compact wave, but you wouldn't be cap stable. And since these are beginner fits, we want to have it be as cap stable as possible. Well, sort of beginner fits because tech two modules. But yeah, even nine minutes is not that bad. But just in case we get a tough spawn, we don't want to risk that. So let's exit out the simulation. Here is the the feed itself of course as usual i'm gonna leave it in the comments below and please guys remember to show some love to captain bensi for coming up with this fit so let's undock real quick i really love these undocking animations they are amazing and we are gonna 
go and start off running some abyssal runs. As always, remember you must be on a fleet. So right click on yourself, click on your name, uh, form fleet with. We are already on a fleet, so I'm gonna warp within zero of a spot I have for running abyssals here in the market hub of Minmatar, which is Heck. There is another one in Minmatar space, which is Rens, and but this one is a little bit closer to my home to my to the station where I base my operations in millimeter space so yeah we're just gonna warp to this safe spot so that we can start 104 look wow well, that's a lot so we're gonna be running tranquil gamma filaments we're gonna use as usual because frigates we're gonna use three of these and we need to be on a fleet so I move on to the abyss I move on from destroyers to frigates and activate for fleet so yeah, we're just gonna go straight ahead and see how the Rifter runs these sites. As you will see, sorry about that, as you will see it's fairly simple, it's fairly easy and we shouldn't really have any problem. We have some Tesselas, we have some drones, so we're just gonna approach the loot cache after burner on. And they are gonna start approaching us and we're gonna click on them so that when they are close enough we can actually keep them at range so that we are following them keeping them close use that web use those guns and get rid of them and here we go oh we have an automata suppressor that's nice that's really helpful when we're not running on the Tristanus. If you remember, this destroys drones and it lowers the damage of missiles. So we want to be careful if we have missiles or drones with these automata suppressors. But since we are only running guns, we are good to go. As you can see, the shield actually is holding up rather nicely. That's thanks to the Gamma shield HP bonus we're gonna go for the loot and yeah we haven't even had to start the armor repair so yeah um, I do believe that you can run these sites with a tech 1 armor repair but the you absolutely need the tech 2 guns because hail ammunition is really great and it's mainly explosive damage you could also use fusion I think I'm gonna run a test with fusion but for the most part I would recommend especially if you're just starting out and you have a little bit lower skills of course as usual remember I'm gonna show you a little bit my alpha status see there but I do have six million uh, skill points in this character so a little bit above beginner so consider that into your playthrough I do recommend you start up with tech to guns and go skilling into that if you cannot run tech to guns yet what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make like with the galente series i'm gonna make a beginner destroyer fit for t0 abyssals of course you will make a little bit less money on that one but keep uh keep an eye out for that video it should be the next one if i remember my schedule correctly and yeah i really recommend you starting out with the destroyer even though it takes a little bit more skills uh, you can actually start running these sites a little bit earlier if you have less skill points. The other thing with that one is I think I'm gonna make it missile fit, uh, which could be very different and it could slow down your training time, but I really think it's worth it to be able to start up at least uh, pretty early on in your EVE career to just be able to run T0 abyssals even in a destroyer is really nice, it's gonna start making you some good ISK and remember you can do that when you don't have a lot of time, when you only have 20 minutes to play or something like that it's actually a great activity and I appreciate it a lot just because you're able to just run it in under 20 minutes because most other activities take a lot longer time to run especially for example high sec combat exploration or things like that you are chasing around to get those escalations and sometimes it may take a lot of hours so yeah running these abyssal sites is really really nice if you only have a little bit of time maybe an hour and you can make some goodies 
doing so. As you can see, we're not having any problems. Well, our armor went a little bit low for a moment there. But remember, as long as you keep on killing stuff and reducing the damage that they make, you're gonna be okay. I just wanna check out how is our resistance, our explosive resistance doing. See, 31. If we didn't have uh, the damage control, we would be a lot lower. Ah, it doesn't simulate in the abyss. So we're gonna move on to the Lucid Escort, oh no, to the Loot Cache. And when the Lucid Escort approaches us, the exact same, we're gonna go straight for him. And yeah, you know, the Rifter is not particularly fast, so that's why we need the web. But I think it does a really good job, and those tech to guns and that tech to ammunition really comes in clutch. Uh, I should maybe get a little bit closer before I start firing so that we don't waste ammunition since it's a little bit more expensive than the tech one ammunition. We want to be a little more careful with that special starting out. We don't want to waste as much ammunition. But yeah, as you can see, we are running this side without a problem, our armor definitely hanging on. We have some tracking bonuses from the tower and now we can go for the final loot cache and move on to the next one. I'm gonna hunt uh, I'm gonna hunt down for that skybreaker room and uh, I'm gonna let you guys know when that one comes around. So yeah. Mm. By the way, in the comments if you can just tell me if you like these uh, format that we are using that we're doing if you enjoy the format if you like it if you like how i'm structuring the chapters of the videos please do let me know so that i continue doing so or if you have any suggestions or anything in particular that you would like to me to try i am definitely more than willing to try it i have uh, decent alpha skills i have one character for every empire with somewhat decent skills so we could try most of the things of course we are near the crimson harvest uh, well when I'm recording this I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload it but yeah I'm gonna try to run some crimson harvest sites once they are out if they are not too difficult or they don't take battleships but yes I will see you in the skybreaker video so we have finally found out a skybreaker room these are great rooms, we shouldn't really have any problem, everyone knows that these are the toughest rooms in T-Zero Abyssal and we're gonna see how our Rifter deals with it. We're just gonna orbit at 500 or 1000 meters and just approach him as quickly as we can and once we are under 10 kilometers we're gonna apply the web so that we can get close get closer a little bit faster and we're gonna start applying damage at 3000 around that and we're just gonna keep on shooting, keep on shooting as you can see the damage that makes this item and the damage and the hole for the gamma abyssal meaning that the most damage will be to actually be from explosive which is great because our ammunition does primarily explosive damage and as you can see, well, the Skybreaker, as its shield tank, it has pretty good uh, explosive resistance in the shields. But the good thing is that once the shields go down, he will not have any explosive resistance in armor. As you can see, the sun is already going down, and we are doing good. In any case, if you start to have any problems, as you can see, we can definitely attack this without a problem. But if you were to have any problems or any complications running the Skybreaker, you can always switch to EMP ammunition, preferably faction ammunition, uh, so that you can do a little bit more damage. But yeah, as you can see, all good. I'm just gonna go for the loot cache here, and we didn't have a problem. So yeah, this fit can absolutely do the Skybreaker, and we're gonna go to the next segment of the video. Finally, with these Abyssal runs, as you can see, the Rifter has more than been paid for, it's fairly easy, it's fairly simple. With just around 3 to 5 Abyssal uh, runs, you can absolutely pay for it. So yeah, I think it's really nice fit. It's, uh, again, thank you to Captain Basie for coming up with the fit. Guys, please go, go leave him some love. I hope to one day be as big on YouTube as he is and as good as an IF video maker as he is. But yeah. 
thank you also very much for watching if you have any suggestions any comments please leave them in the comments below we're gonna move on with the Minmantar side of the series and if you find it in your in your heart please leave me a like please leave me a comment and even consider subscribing if you like the content that i'm making i hope my editing has been getting a lot better and i will see you guys on the next one thank you also very much for watching the alpha life out